Hello everyone, today I'm going to do my highly requested nail polish collection video and I took down my old video because I didn't think it was really helpful at the time when I filmed the video all my nail polishes were sitting in a box and you couldn't really see the colors but recently I ordered nail polish racks through Amazon.com and so I'm going to show you my current up-to-date polish collection. I got rid of a lot of colors recently. When I was moving I realized a lot of my bottles were just sitting there, they hadn't been touched in a while so I gave a lot of them away to family and friends and I kept the only ones that I would actually wear. Now it's still a lot of nail polish and I just want to make it clear that the only reason why I started wearing nail polish anyway, which was about two and a half years ago, was all because of YouTube. People are saying that my natural nails were ugly and that I should paint them. So that's when I actually started to apply color to my nails. Now, I do have a lot of polish. I'm not saying that it is a ridiculous amount. I'm not doing this to brag, but this is a video to review all the brands of polish that I adore using. And so this is less of a collection video and more of a review, but we will be going over all the nail polish colors that I own. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's start talking about the nail polish racks. Again, I purchased them from Amazon.com and I believe they were about $35 a piece. They are pretty expensive for cheap acrylic, but they do work. There's nails one and two behind each of the top of the racks. They do hold 90 polishes at least per rack. So here are my Illamasqua polishes. I really love Illamasqua. I think they make some great colors. I just don't like to repeat doubles and triples of colors that I already have. So one question that I get asked often is, why do you buy all these expensive brands if you can find a cheaper color? And the bottom line is, I buy these first to review for my channel and my blog, and I'm not going to go out and buy another one just because it's cheaper that's a little redundant. So I just buy whatever color it is from the brand that I like, and then if not, I'll go and find other more affordable alternatives and colors that I like as well. So it's not about brand for me, it's mostly about color and texture and the way it applies, etc, etc. Then we have my Dior nail polish, which unfortunately is the last one that I have left. All my other Dior nail polishes were stolen, either by a relative or during my move into my new place. So. Obviously, I would like to think it's not a relative, but they are missing <laughs> all my limited editions, so those I can't get back, which is very, very unfortunate. Now, I know people are going to start counting my nail polishes and telling me how much I spent and whatnot, but believe me, this is not an overnight process. It took me three years of collecting to get to this point. We'll start with my first YSL nail polish. This is a bright turquoise blue. The number is 137. Next I have 42, which is a magenta. Now for my favorite orange, which is 142. And my first navy blue polish, this is number 44. And again, all of these YSL polishes are no longer available. Now for my one and only Estee Lauder nail polish, this is the Blue Dahlia. I received this Deborah Lippmann sample from Nordstrom. It's called Between the Sheets. Now for my one lonesome Dior nail polish, this is called Dior Nirvana. This is Lancome Sarong, Lancome LE54. The corresponding purple polish, which I don't have the name of anymore, the sticker fell off. Now for my favorite gray polish, this is Lancome's 407N, it's the perfect gray. Lancome number 23, black with gold. Lancome holiday polish with Lorraine. La Mercier Twilight, a deep purple. La Mercier Lavender Cloud, this was from her spring collection this year. Flamingo, which which is a really nice pink. Cabana, which is one of my favorite corally oranges. And my very first high-end nail polish, this is Laura Mercier Champagne Wishes, which is no longer available, unfortunately. Now for my first side of Chanel's. I don't wear Rouge Noir often, but I do get asked a lot of questions when I do. It's a very vampy, slightly red, browny purple. Rouge Fatal, a brownish red. It's very similar to Dragon, which I no longer have. Pirate is the red that I'm wearing today, and it's my favorite red. Cormandel, a sparkly red, which is technically discontinued, but it is still available at the moment because it was relaunched, so grab it if you can. Chanel April, Chanel Rose Insolent, this is my favorite pedicure color. Chanel May, Chanel Mistral, this is one with Chanel's invisible shimmer. You can see it in the bottle, but when it's painted on the nail, it's not quite so visible. Chanel Frisson, I believe it's called. It is a sheer pink with lots of pink and gold shimmer. Chanel Distraction, another one of my favorite Chanel nail polish colors. 
This one has invisible shimmer as well. It's a fuchsia shimmer and it is gorgeous. Now we have Chanel June in orange. It's more of a peachy orange. It's showing up more yellow on camera. Chanel Pesh Nacre. This is a gorgeous peach. A little streaky. Chanel Jade Rose. This is a really nice neutral with a little bit of shimmer. Now we have Chanel Island, which is one of my favorite Chanel polishes. Chanel Goldfinger is one of the very few Chanel polishes that I regret buying. Chanel Illusion Dor. This is one of my favorite Chanel polishes of all time. It was one, the first Chanel nail polish that I ever purchased. And it has, it's more of a glitter top coat, but it's very unique. And they've never produced anything else like this. Or at least since I purchased that one. Then last but not least for uh, the Chanel on this side, Gold Lame, another one that I don't really love. Now for the Deborah Lippmans. Like a Virgin is a sheer white, but it is a very nice sheer white, opaque in three coats. Deborah Lippmans Diamonds and Pearls. This is my best friend Tammy's favorite one to use as a glitter top coat. Deborah Lippmann Naked, which is one of my favorite nudes. Deborah Lippmann Glamorous Life. It's a rose gold nail polish, but unfortunately it has a tendency to streak. Deborah Lippmann Glitter in the Air. Deborah Lippmann's On the Beach. Deborah Lippmann Mermaid's Dream. This is my favorite Deborah Lippmann. It's so unique, so beautiful, and very long lasting. Deborah Lippmann's Across the Universe, which I love wearing with Butter London Slapper. Deborah Lippmann Good Girl Gone Bad, one of her few very fine glitter nail polishes. I love the shimmer in this one. Deborah Lippmann Bad Romance. Yes, there is a Revlon dupe of this, but I had this one first, so I did not need to purchase the Revlon one. Deborah Lippmann Call Me Irresponsible, one of my favorite Deborah Lippmanns. This is a jelly. It's good with about three coats, but I love the finish and the shade. It's beautiful. Deborah Lippmann's Before He Cheats which is very sheer. Deborah Lippmann I Dreamed You, which is surprisingly not sheer considering the color. Deborah Lippmann's Pretty Young Thing, unfortunately, is sheer. And this is a gorgeous peach in the bottle. It just does not apply that well. This is Deborah Lippmann's Day Tripper. I got this as a gift. Last but not least for Deborah Lippmann on this side is Candy Shop. Now for my butters. This one is called Victoriana. This one is called Henley Regatta. Next is Slapper. Then we have Blagger. Now for Sprog, which I still have not had the chance to wear. Muggins, which unfortunately is very streaky. I recommend Lavender Cloud by Laura Mercier over this. Butter London's Knackered, which is very unique. Black Knight, which I love, but unfortunately it chipped the first couple times I wore it, so I haven't worn it since. Butter London's Come to Bed Red, which I still haven't tried yet, but it's somewhat similar to Pirate that I have on. One of my favorite Butter London polishes, this is Disco Biscuit and it is a bright pink with lots of fuchsia and blue shimmer. I love it on my toes. Next is Snog, which is a very bright, dark, almost red pink. Then we have Trout Pout, which seems to be very popular these days. Then we have Teddy Girl, which is a very light pink cream. Now for my OPI, I have the Certainly Look Marvelous and this is my, one of my favorite OPI shades. It's a darker one, but it has lots of shimmer and it wears really, really well. Next, I have OPI Bring on the Bling, and I like this one because it has warmer tones of shimmer. It's a good polish for fall. OPI DS Glow. I really love this one. People ask me about it a lot. The DS polishes are really nice. OPI Glitzerland. My only OPI suede polish, but I really like this one. I'm a big fan of greens, and it's called Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow. An OPI Dark Purple, it's called Eiffel for this color. OPI's DS Extravagance, which is a really nice raspberry burgundy. OPI DS Magic, I've had this for a year or two, but I've never worn it. OPI Absolutely Alice, I love this color. It's blue with gold and yellow, but unfortunately it is very goopy and hard to apply. Now for OPI's See You Later Sailor, this is very sheer. OPI Melon of Troy, I wore this in a couple videos when I first started and I always seem to get asked a lot of questions about this particular. OPI Peachaboo, OPI Just Teasing, one of my favorite nudes from OPI. OPI Pearl of Wisdom, I bought this for my best friend and she wears it pretty often. Now for my Essies on this side, I have Essie Blanc, which is a white. Essie's Show Me the Ring, which is very similar to a Chanel nail polish that I have, just warmer. Essie's Shine of the Times, I really like this top coat. Essie's As Gold As It Gets top coat, which I'm not too big of a fan of, it's a little too much gold for me. Essie's A Cut Above, this is a glitter top coat. It's very similar to a Deborah Lippmann that I used to have, and I think this is a much more affordable option, especially because that glitter didn't hold up as well. The Essie's seem to do pretty well. Essie Bahama Mama, Essie Playdate. 
which is one of my favorite SC colors of all time. SC Splash of Grenadine. I don't reach for this color too often, but I love the finish. It's a jelly and it's so adorable. SC Lilacism. SC Lapis of Luxury, which is one of my favorite SCs. SC Coat Azure, which is a shimmery version, a little darker. SC Trophy Wife. SC Pretty Edgy, which is one of my favorite green nail polishes. SC So Psyched. SC Mojito Madness, which is more yellow and a little lighter than Pretty Edgy. Then we have SC Turquoise and Caicos, which is my favorite SC nail polish of all time. Then, of course, we can't miss out on SC Mint Candy Apple. And now we're going to move on to my second nail polish rack. I'm going to start here and move on that way. First we have Illamasqua's MILF. This is my first Illamasqua polish and it is lighter, paler, excuse me, than I would have liked, but it's still a great color. My favorite Illamasqua polish, which is Nomad. My most recent Illamasqua nail polish, this is Taint. Rescue Beauty Lounge's Bikini Bottom. RBL's Locavore Glitter. RBL Purple Haze. This is RBL Pizzicata. This is pro probably my favorite one by them, but it's still a little chalky. Uh, lavenders in general tend to be hard to wear. Old OCC polish. This is called AV. Another old OCC. This one's called Tattoo. My favorite OCC nail polish is Radiate, I believe. It's the UV Red. Gorgeous, but I don't know where it is anymore. These are Limitier Travel Nail Polishes that were released last holiday. This one is my favorite. It's called Chrome Passion. Next I have Midnight Rendezvous, True Romance, Heat of the Night, which looks red in the bottle but it's more brown and darker on my fingers, Limitier's Contagious Coral, which is a full-size polish. Next I have Shoot Amora's Seal Blue, Ray Green, which has some great blue silver shimmer. Tom Ford's Dominatrix, which is one of his most recent launches. And Tom Ford's Silver Smoke, which is a great color, but not so nice formula. Dominatrix is better. Now for Chanel Diwali. This is one of my more recent Chanel purchases. It's pretty similar to OPI Glitzerland, just lighter and the shimmer is less noticeable. Chanel Delight, one of my more favorite nail polishes from Chanel. Chanel Quartz, a really beautiful nail polish. I really like how multi-dimensional this one is, but still wearable. Chanel Frenzy, this was released for fall. I really like this color. It looks a lot more gray in the bottle, but it, it warms up a little bit on the hands. Chanel Pearl Drop. Chanel Riva, which is so beautiful, but such a pain to use, three coats or more. Chanel Skyline, which is so pretty I haven't even worn yet, just because I like looking at it in the bottle. It is a limited edition. I did purchase it through the Chanel website. Chanel Black Pearl. Chanel Black Velvet, which is my favorite black nail polish. It's so unique, unfortunately. It's no longer available. Chanel Graphite. This is still my favorite Chanel Metallic, just because it's so pretty on. Chanel Peridot, one of my more unique polishes. Yes, there are more affordable dupes, but they all came after Peridot was released. Chanel Khaki Vert, which is one of my favorite military army greens. Chanel Particulaire, my best applying brown. Chanel Paradoxal, one of my favorite uh, purple nail polishes. I like the duochrome quality of this. It goes from purple to brown. Really, really, really beautiful. Chanel Strong, Part of the Soho collection. I, I, I believe I also purchased this through Chanel.com. This one is a purple with a warm lean. And next to it I have a random Castle Dew nail polish. This is a Korean brand. I have the number here. 9403A. Yes, that's a long number. And I have a backup of Paradoxal. Now for Zoya. Zoya Leanne is really, really orange with a lot of shimmer. Zoya Alley is one of my favorite pedicure colors. It is a neon, I believe, so you do need a top coat with this. Zoya Happy, pink with gold shimmer. Zoya Shelby, medium warm pink. Zoya Wednesday. Zoya Zuzo, which was much prettier online. Zoya Joe, probably my favorite color in terms of my Zoya polishes. Zoya Robin, which is slightly lighter than my Deborah Lippmann on the beach. Zoya Midori, which is so which sounds like a great color. Zoya Midori, which sounds like a great color, but the green and gold shimmer in it is a little overwhelming. It's a little too yellow. I wish it was more of a true jelly green like Midori the alcohol. Max Hanging Loose from the Surfer collection. My favorite base coat, Deborah Littman's Rehydrating Base Coat. Deborah Littman's On a Clear Day. Deborah Littman's Addicted to Speed. This is my favorite top coat. 
Deborah Lippmann's Ridge Filler, which is great for ridged nails, but it does thicken up a little bit faster than I would have liked. I think I'm going to have to buy nail polish thinner just for this. Deborah Lippmann's Supermodel, a jelly red that leans orange. I really love this color though, and I don't like polishes that show my nail line, but this one is just that awesome. Deborah Lippmann's Do You Think I'm Sexy? This one is best worn with a sheer red underneath. And last but not least for my Deborah Lippmann's Happy Birthday. Next I have my Julep nail polishes. This one is called Carrie. Then there's Nicole, which is a great shimmery red. Anne is a lovely purple. Emily is a great grassy green. Heather is a shimmery taupe. My favorite Julep polish though is Whitney, which is a nude, mushroom nude. Then last but not least is Julep's Hayden, which is a little uh, chalky. Then I have this nail art brush. It's gold glitter. Bought it from a random Vietnamese nail art supply. Sally Hansen's Mint Sorbet. Now I have a Berry M nail color in number 308. Here I have my favorite top coat for my toenails. This is the Hardware by Butter, and I feel like this one lasts the most on the toes. Here's Butter London's Nail Foundation, which is a great polish, which is a great base, and you can wear this alone as nail polish. It's what my best friend does. Butter's Tart with a Heart. This is my favorite butter glitter. This is Butter's Diamond Geezer, a plain silver. Here I have Lilibet's Jubilee by Butter, and this is my most recent butter acquisition. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks a lot similar to Diamond Geezer. I was expecting it to be more purple, but I'll probably resort to using it as nail art. Excuse me for nail art. Now, No More Weighty Katie. This is one of my first Butter London nail polishes. It's a gray with purple shimmer. Butter Tough. This is pretty similar to SC Angora Cardi from what I have seen. I really like Toff though because it's a little warmer, a bit lighter, I think it's more wearable. Now for another row down, we're going to go with the rest of my OPIs. This is Alpine White, I believe. Alpine Snow, excuse me. Here we have OPIs have a Tempura Tantrum. OPIs at first sight, which is a very nice pink. Then Alone at last, another nudie pink. OPIs Second Honeymoon which is a medium pale pink. Second Honeymoon, which is a neutral pale pink. Then I have Banana Bandana, which I don't actually like. These yellow, especially the medium tones, don't tend to look good on my skin tone. Sephora OPI's Havana Nights, a pale blue. Orly's French Manicure Polish in Etoile. I like to layer this over a French white tip. Orly's Luxe, a gold foil. My favorite Orly polish, this is Rage. A rose gold. Orly Gilded Coral. This is one of my best friend Tammy's favorites. Orly Haley's Comet. Leo Ellie 23. This is my favorite dark gray now that my Dior Saint Montan has been stolen. Leo Ellie number 32, a mid tone deep purple. And number 18 in Leo Ellie, which is a periwinkle blue. And now for the last row, we'll start with my Essie polishes. This is Funky Limelight, and most people asked me about this in my last nail polish video. It is an Essie Neon. It's a bright highlighter yellow. It's gorgeous on. It really looks like a yellow highlighter, and I recommend you layering this over Essie Blanc, which is the white that I showed earlier. This is Essie Sugar Daddy, a really, really sheer pink, but I like using this for nail art. It gives the nails a really clean, polished look. Essie's Vandigo. I, I like to wear this on my toes in the summer because of my tan skin. This really pops. This is another Essie polish, but the name fell off, so I'm not sure what it is. Here is Essie's Otisolo, and this is a coral. Essie's Tarte Deco is very similar, but there's a little bit more orange in this one. Essie's Knockout Pout is one of the brighter pink Essies that I own. Mod Square is more of a fuchsia color, but I really love this. It's still considered a pink. And this was my favorite red before I found Chanel Pirate. This is Essie's Lacquered Up. As you can see on camera, it has more of an orange tone compared to Pirate, which is a true red. Essie's Chinchilli. Essie's Mink Muffs. Essie's Little Brown Dress, which is my favorite dark brown. It's one of the few browns that I own, but this one looks nearly black on, which I like. And now for China Glaze, they're great at making brights. This is for Audrey, one of their most popular shades. Now we have Flip Flop Fantasy, which I believe is a neon. It doesn't, it's not labeled neon, but it looks neon in the tube or excuse me, in the bottle. Now this one is called Pink Voltage and this one is labeled a neon. 
It has a really fine shimmer. Now for China Glaze Ruby Slippers. This seems to be China Glaze's most popular red. I see a lot of reviews and swatches of this, and supposedly it has really great shimmer that you can't see unless it's on your nail, but I believe the reviews, so that's why I picked this one up. And last, but definitely not least, my favorite mint polish. This is Sally Hansen's Nail Growth Miracle in Gentle Blossom. I tried looking for this at CVS today, but I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it's been discontinued, but this is definitely one of my favorite nail polish colors. So if you can find this, I highly recommend you pick it up. It is the shimmery version with a little bit more minty green color than the mint sorbet that I showed a little bit. So here's mint sorbet. It's a little more pale. And that is it for my nail polish collection, everyone. I'm just gonna zoom through the colors once more so you can see them all lined up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see everyone soon. Bye!